Hello our dear audience, this is the evening Airstream studio of Blani and David. Look, we each have a light over. It's like we have a spotlight on our head. Ooh, it's like it's you like aliens coming over and uh, providing the lighting for this show. This show has evolved because we now have our outdoors evening studio. I wonder if this is gonna screw up the audio. It feels like maybe I just can't hear it a lot. Maybe it's not getting recorded very well. What I wanted to say today is uh, there's a lot of bad happening in the world. Like if you watch the news, you know, all these recent police shootings and people doing live video of a shooting of their boyfriend. I mean, there's just so much crazy bad stuff happening that is kind of hard to get over when you watch or listen to the news and then on top of that you know not all of our days are easy to deal with like today was a difficult day for some reasons that we don't want to talk about yet some of you that watch this vlog know very well what's going on behind the scenes the rest will find out soon my point is it's important to try and find one thing or several things during the day that you can hold on to that are good like Leslie making us dinner. Like today our friend Leslie came over out of the blue and cooked dinner for us. I mean, I'm amazed again. Mm -hmm. I'm not used to this and this was just absolutely wonderful. She didn't give us a choice. She said, I'm coming over and making you dinner. What is going on here? This is a Mexican honey lime salad. And you just came over and made it for us. I did. Why? And Why not, not just that? Not just that to either. She also made those enchiladas and recipes. Maybe we shouldn't uh, have the camera on her when she first tastes it. No, no. She doesn't <laughs> like it. Mm, this is so the best salad I've ever had. <laughs> so is this something you just do for your friends? You take over their kitchen and cook delicious meals? That's what I do. It's amazing. Butternut squash lasagna. Oh, oh, that I think that'd so be a little. Sweet. I think that'd be a little warm. That sounds good. We'll do that in December. Okay. And you'll have to come some weekend when we can just sit out there in the hammock. We'll be doing. We'll be doing. Some okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. And then of course each other. Um, this is the best thing to hold on to and the brightest part of my day. And for those of, and some of you do not have this special other person. Maybe that person is still coming into your life. Uh, I feel like we're the um, Delilah show now. <laughs> Delilah show? Yes. Delilah. What is that show? It sounds <laughs> too sexy for some reason. <laughs> no. For those that? of you who don't have that special someone in your life, here's a song. I was just going to say, here's the joke of the day. Oh. <laughs> what did a Mexican fireman name his two sons? Jose and Hosby. <laughs> I got it! <laughs> and for those of you who who don't get the joke of the day, don't have special someone. <laughs> I thought you meant they don't understand it. Here's Manuka honey. It's another amazing gift of nature. Although this one is very expensive, so it's not very gifty. I think they're all very expensive. This thing is absolutely wonderful for your health. It's got a lot of anti-cancer properties. It's got a lot of generally healing and immune system improving properties. So grab a jar and this alone will make your day brighter. It's now time for fan mail. We don't have fan mail. We still don't have any fan mail, so uh, we'll skip that part again. But it's time now for a movie review. What's the exact name of that movie? Fear of 13. The Fear of 13. Triskaidekaphobia. Triskaidekaphobia. That's the Fear of 13. Aww. Whispers on the show. This is our today's Aww. guest. Now we can interview Whisper. Aww, you sweet doggy. Well, I thought that was an amazing movie. I thought the most, I mean, the story was amazing. The guy was just sitting there telling his story without anybody else in the movie. I mean, what other movie could you imagine watching for an hour and a half or however long it was where it's just one person sitting there telling a story? 
I've been arrested enough to know this one's bad. Storytelling is the basic, most amazing skill that keeps filmmaking going. I was thrown into this world, no sunlight. Without an interesting story that is told in an interesting way, there is no films. I wanted to kill somebody. And this guy, um, his name is Nick Yaris, tells the story of his own life. He is a uh, death row prisoner. I was hit by the reality, I'm not free. The way he talks, there's something absolutely... And the, the editors of the film added to it by just doing the tiny little subtle things they did. Like he would say something like about a gun. He'd go, pow, pow. Oh, and they would overlay it with a shot and it just was yes. perfectly done. The movie was absolutely beautifully edited and very, very, very well produced. I know I didn't kill that woman. My personal theory is that this movie got overshadowed by Making a Murderer last year that also was released in 2015 by Netflix. I never heard of it. We were just looking for a movie to watch the other night and it looked interesting. Yes, we don't have too much time to watch movies recently. So when we do have one evening when we can't afford it, we want to pick something really good. And this movie just absolutely blew us it away. It has five stars on Netflix. I can't believe I have the key to my cell in my hand. The original crime he was accused of and he was sentenced to death for, took place in Delaware at the Tri-State Mall. And we went there today just to somehow connect to this movie in a more realistic sense. It's kind of an abandoned mall now. It used to have a Kmart by it, now it has like a Burlington Coat Factory and nothing else. This is what the rest of it looks like. That's where the original murder well, that it didn't got, take it wasn't she wasn't murdered there. That's she was where, kidnapped there. Yeah. And then she was taken to Pennsylvania, which is right there. The border is right there on the edge. And this goes back to what we started this episode with, which is it seems like another bad thing happening in the world, but uh, No, you can't say that. You can't give it away. It averages out to something good that you can hold on to. It's got a really interesting story and it's a beautiful piece of Don't cinematography. Yeah. What do turtles use to communicate? A shell phone. <laughs> <laughs> that one you got? That's okay. Good. <laughs> Why is turtle wax so expensive? Because their ears are so small. <laughs> Let's take a shelfie. Whisper, do you have a fear of 13? Do you have a triskaidekaphobia? Do you have kielbasa? I think if we were a show, we would be canceled because <laughs> we only have like tens well, it's, of viewers. It's good that we're our own producers. <laughs> yes.